discuss how an individual first became aware of their disability and how their intellectual disabilities are not equally accepted and the opportunities they are given. So I will discuss the problem, the cause, and the solution of intellectual disabilities and how they at the end get the opportunity to participate in the Olympics, such as, you know, we all have our own Olympics, they also get the opportunity to participate in the Olympics, although they have a minor setback. Individuals who have intellectual disabilities struggle with finally finding out their disabilities. And they struggle with being accepted and struggle with having opportunities and enjoying themselves while having the opportunity. The problem. Some individuals' journeys began once they were aware that they had the disability. Hmm, in the blink of an eye, it seems that if someone has an intellectual disability, which doesn't happen overnight. According to the American Association of Intellectual and Development Disabilities, based off of someone's intellectual functioning and adaptive behavior, which covers many everyday and social skills, is how someone is identified of having an intellectual disability. And intellectual disabilities in children also occur before the age of 18. So it's not saying that once you're 18, you won't have, or you can't be identified as having an intellectual disability. They just say that most studies show that they occur, so normally they occur before before birth or during like a mother's pregnancy. They can occur in uh, trauma or in the brain um, damage. So some they say some tumors also have caused people to have intellectual disabilities. Some people may wonder, what is an intellectual disability? An intellectual disability is a certain limitation in cognitive functioning and it's commonly known as mental retardation. And like I said, it can be caused by injury, also a disease, but not necessarily. Sadly, the world has always had a problem with accepting people for who they are, right? Don't you always have a problem with accepting someone for who they are when you don't really know them at all? Here's the cause. There are children and adults who are not accepted because of the fact that they have intellectual disabilities. Reasons why other humans are afraid to reach out to those with intellectual disabilities is because they seem to not want to insult them. Insult them. They seem not to want, want to make certain facial expressions, and they seem to not want them to feel uncomfortable. You know, when you're around someone you don't really know, don't you feel uncomfortable? Don't you get timid? Don't you, you feel like you have to act a certain way? You should feel comfortable around them because they're human beings just like you. People's thoughts and opinions about those with disabilities are shocking. From a poll taken from disabilities.com, it states that someone's education who oh, someone's education and 39% said that students should be educated in classrooms with other children their age. But 10% said that students shouldn't be. So some people feel, you know, just because you have a disability, you should be able to have the same opportunity as someone else. But studies have shown that 10% feel that, you know, just because you have a disability, you should be with other people who have disabilities because you could distract or slow down the process and learning and take time away from others who catch on faster. 93% agree that those with intellectual disabilities should be able to eat lunch with others and be able to participate in activities with kids on the playground. And 5% stated that they felt that it wasn't unfair. Like, it wasn't unfair at all because they felt that people with disabilities should be able to help the same people who have disabilities and that people without disabilities should play with those without disabilities. They said because kids these days, you know, are mean, and will make fun of the people with disabilities. So those are just a few opinions of people. Besides the fact that people don't accept those with disabilities, they are given the opportunity to show off their athletic abilities. Here's the solution. 
Despite the fact that some children and adults are living with having intellectual disabilities, they are given the opportunity to compete in the Special Olympics. And not only are they able to participate in the Special Olympics, they also have different programs at different like community centers in different states to where they have just like a disability group to like, you know, they have the 60 minutes when you need to, you know, go and be fitness and have fun. They have that for just disabilities. And you know how in college we have intramurials, they have like many intramural teams for just those kids that are adults that have um, intellectual disabilities. And one specific organization is the Special Olympics. Those with intellectual disabilities give them the opportunity to participate in a good amount of sport events, such as these right here. So the alpine skiing, cricket, floorball, judo, kayaking, equestrian. They get all these opportunities. And you would think, you know, why not get the same opportunity as someone else? You're human. It's only one thing that makes us different. I have an intellectual disability and you don't. So the Special Olympics is not just in the states. It's throughout different countries. So everyone who has an intellectual disability gets the opportunity to show off their ability despite, despite them having the intellectual disability. And there are 30 plus Olympic styles. So these are not all of them. And here are a few quotes, specifically from the Special Olympic, Olympic athletes from Olympics.com. Hanako said, I am proud to be a Special Olympic athlete. We are given opportunities to train, compete in Olympic type sports, and we always do our best. It's great that we get to be treated like others and not like outsiders. And Tamika also said, competing with others is the best and we enjoy being able to show off our ability, although we're different than others. Being aware that you can support and help this in this, this situation and those with disabilities shows that one isn't selfish and can care about someone else's happiness. Individuals first become aware of their disability and then they learn how to adapt to being not accepted and then learn how to be accepted and then they learn about the opportunities that they are given. So I suggest that everyone should interact with those who are unlike ourselves and should adapt or encourage others or yourself to, to reach out to those with intellectual disabilities and treat them like you want to be treated. So just put yourself in their shoes. Like what if one day you end up with a disability? You don't want to be treated the same as if you didn't have a disability. Thank you.